Good evening, Assalamu alaikum guys, and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here on C Results Academy. So we're into the final three questions of the specimen paper, at least of section one, I should say. And um, these are statistical questions. It's some people's favorite topic. It's some people they don't like it that much, but that's okay. We have to be prepared for everything, all right? So we've got you covered here. So please, you know, um, get your pencils and papers out and you can work along with us. You can pause the video, solve it, and then look at um, our solution afterwards. So number 18, the table below shows the number of books read by five students in a reading competition. Complete the table to show how many books Basha read if 73 books were read altogether. Okay, so this is a quite a simple question actually. So 73 books were read all together by five students in a reading competition. We have Jesse, Akil, Basha, Mala, and Amy. And we know the number of books read by um, four out of the five students. So basically, if we sum those four students at uh, the number of books that they read, we are going to get um, the number that we'll have to subtract from 73 to get the missing number of books, which would be that or those that were read by Basha. So we'll add 15, 17, 13, and 12. Okay, so that's gonna give me 32 plus 25, which is 57. All right, so 57 books were read by four of these four of these students in the competition. So my final step would be to subtract that 57 from 73, and that is going to give me an answer of 16. Okay, so 16 books were read by Basha. Okay, guys, so we're here on number 19 now. And number 19 reads, what is the mode for the following set of test scores? So we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 5, which are 20 scores right here that some students perhaps um, obtained in tests, right? So we have to figure out what is the mode for the following set of test scores. Now, the mode is the number that has the highest frequency or the one that appears the most. So what I'm going to do here now, I'm going to draw a little tally chart and list all of the different numbers that appear in this set of test scores. And then we are going to tally the amount of times that each number appears. And the one that appears the most will be our mode for the test scores. A few moments later. Okay guys, so I have my tally chart drawn here with all of the scores that appear. I've written them in um, ascending order from the top here, from the smallest number to the largest number coming down my table. And I'm going to tally each of the numbers as they appear. And I'll also write the number that corresponds to that tally under the frequency column, okay? So the number 35, it appears only once. The number 36, it appears only once. The number 37 also appears one time. The number 38, it appears two times. Okay, the number 39 appears three times. The number 41 appears one, two, three, four times. The number 42, it appears only once. The number 43, it appears one, two, three, four times. The number 45, it appears one time, the number 46 appears once, and the number 47 also appears once. All right, so the reason that we are gonna write the numerical values for these tallies is not only to help us identify our mode because we can do that just using the tallies alone, but I'm going to actually add up these numbers to make sure that I get 20. Right? If I add all of the frequencies or all of the number of times each of the numbers appears, it should correspond to the number of numbers or number of test scores I have. And I have 20 test scores here. Right, So the scores, um, the, the frequencies are 35 appears once, 36 appears once, 37 appears once, 38 appears twice, 
39 appears three times, 41 appears four times, 42 appears once, 43 appears four times, 45 once, 46 once, and 47 once. And now if I add all of these, I'm supposed to get a total of 20. All right, so let's see if that's true. One, two, three, and two is five, and three is eight, and four is 12, and one is 13, and four is 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm sure that I've accounted for all of my numbers. If I get less than 20 here, I know that I've missed out um, one of the numbers or, or one or two of the numbers, and that can affect my answer, right? So therefore, I have to, I do this step, I encourage you to do this step to make sure that you've accounted for all of your test scores. So it is possible to have more than one mode or more than one number that appears the most. So in this case, the numbers 41 and 43, they both appear four times. So both 41 and 43 are the mode because all the other numbers appear less than 41 and 43. So that is our answer for this question. Okay, guys, so we're here at our final question for section one, number 20. But before we begin number 20, I just have a short message from myself to you. So please hang on and we'll be back with number 20 very soon. Hope you're enjoying the video, guys. Just wanted to remind you of my six-week SEA math crash course that takes place or begins on the 26th of April. And the deadline for registration is the 23rd of April, Friday the 23rd. So please give me a call before then or a text or a WhatsApp message at 392-5296. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at C Results Academy and to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, okay? Now let's get back to the video. Welcome back, everybody. So number 20, the bar graph shows the school items used by students. So we have school items used by students, the title of our bar graph. What do we have? We have the number of items being displayed and we have the different types of items, okay? So we have the number of items here this vertical axis and on the horizontal one we have the types of items we have pencils rulers pens sharpeners and erasers okay so eight pencils are used by students three rulers two pens five sharpeners and four erasers so we come across from the top of the bars over to our number of items axis and we can read off those numbers like i just did now, what does the question ask us? The question asks, how many more pencils than pens are used? How many more pencils than pens are used? So eight pencils are being used and only two pens are being used. So all we have to do for this question is quite simply to say eight take away two is equal to six. So there are six more pencils being used than pens all right six more pencils are used than pens and that would be our answer for this question okay all. so we are here now at the end of section one we're moving into section two Come tomorrow, please, God. So do join us again tomorrow. I hope you're enjoying the video series. I hope that it's being um, of benefit to you in your revision. And we look forward to finishing both the mathematics and the English language arts papers with you and for you before the exam date, which is June the 10th. All right. So see you all tomorrow. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.